killed. Today, Chicago police announced an arrest for the murder of a man at last month's Puerto Rican Day Parade. WGN's Rob Sneed live at police headquarters with the latest. Rob. Yeah, good evening to you both. Just within the last 15 seconds, police sent me the mugshot of that man, Anthony Lorenzi, and you can see him right here. They say that uh, he made, that authorities made that arrest in San Diego. He was arrested at a parking lot at an apartment complex, and right now he is charged with first degree murder. I hope this arrest brings at least some measure of relief to the families of this young couple who left behind two small children. Many of you have seen the disturbing video of Giovanni Arzuaga being shot execution style in the back of the head June 19th. The shooting happened in Humboldt Park after the Puerto Rican Day Parade on West Division Street. Chicago Police Superintendent David Brown on Saturday said Anthony Lorenzi was arrested Friday in San Diego for killing the 24-year-old. CPD detectives developed information that Lorenzi had fled to San Diego the morning after the murders and quickly secured an arrest warrant for Lorenzi, at which point the U.S. Marshals Service f led the fugitive investigation thereafter. And specifically for this incident, uh, the community really stepped up and gave us several tips on who this uh, defendant was, and that's why we were able to identify him uh, so quickly. Investigators say that's thanks to the San Diego Fugitives Task Force United States Marshal Services. Lorenzi has 26 felony arrests and seven convictions, including burglary in 2006, unauthorized use of a weapon by a felon in 2010, and aggravated fleeing and eluding in 2016. That aggravated fleeing and eluding incident is his most recent felony conviction and it stemmed from a incident in which he and a co-defender were uh, committing an armed vehicular invasion of a victim that took place at 3259. West Cortez. Arzuaga's partner, 23 year old Yasmin Perez, was also shot, but investigators say that shot came from inside of the car. Based upon the totality of all the evidence that we looked at, it appears that that gunshot wound comes from inside the vehicle that causes the gunshot wound to her neck. So, more than likely, and we still have to reconcile a gun, but more than likely, it came from inside the vehicle and someone inside the vehicle caused that wound to her neck. Authorities tell us that marshals are in the process of bringing Lorenzi back from San Diego as we speak. They also say that they believe they have other persons of interest. Reporting live at CPD headquarters, Rob Snead, WGN News.